Hello, my friends, and welcome back to The Witcher 3. In yesterday's video, we worked on a variety of objectives, which eventually brought us down to the Nilfgaardian camp, all the way at the bottom of the map, someplace I've been wanting to go and have finally made my, my way to. So in today's video, I do have several things that I want to work on, the first of which is actually turning in this Witcher contract that I stumbled across yesterday. So I'm in the Nilfgaardian camp, and I do need to just find someone to turn this into obviously and then we also picked up this blood ties quest yesterday when we arrived in camp so we'll probably work on that first and then after that maybe some treasure hunts it kind of depends on how slow i am to be honest but before we get started i did want to give you a heads up that due to the holiday season starting today i'm going to be recording a little bit in advance because i do want to take off a week or so, you know, have a nice vacation from my, my daily recording and editing schedule. So I, I'm going to try to get a bunch of videos recorded ahead of time so that I, I keep up my daily posting schedule. So just an FYI in case you give me amazing suggestions and I'm too late to implement them, uh, much like I was during the Thanksgiving uh, holidays as well. So anyway, that's been said. Let's go ahead and get started. I did run over to these other merchants over here. Nothing exciting, unfortunately. Couldn't even sell any of my junk. So that's sad. Have I been over here? Yes, I have been over here. I went to this merchant yesterday. Silly. So let's see. I wonder how much of this camp I actually get to explore. <laughs> They're all just spouting up guarding at me <laughs> with the English subtitles. It's great. <laughs> oh, yeah, you're so funny. Art jokes. So I'm guessing nothing down here because that's end of map. So let's come down this way. Group center camp. Is this a secondary fast travel point? Yes center in quotes. <laughs> hmm. Messenger? You're different. Uh, yeah. Okay. No, you're not that different. What's up here? Uh, it's feeling noisy. Ew. That's not how that's... No. I'm, I'm leaving now. It's a pretty, I was going to say fortified fort. <laughs> the Emperor shall guide us straight to Novigrad. Probably. I mean, I'm not sure how much I have faith in Radovid to do much of anything. Well, there's a notice board there. That's been on my map for a while. Oh, but I'm guessing it has a quest. Can I go in here? I'm guessing probably not. No. And that's to the huge area full of, I'm guessing, tents full of soldiers. Wow. That's just a huge Pam, army. Pam, Pam, Pam. All right. Well, before we get any farther, let's look at the notice board. See what, see what that has to say. So looking to buy shaving equipment, uh, looking to buy high quality barber kit, price is no obstacle, Sergeant Mefren. Rodri. Uh, announcement concerning slaves. Soldiers, let me remind you that camp slaves are only to carry out orders given to them by officers. Their task is to help the cooks, engineers, and craftsmen. They will thus not be cleaning your tents, washing your linens, or scrubbing your chainmail. Any soldier caught misusing a slave to do his own duties will spend next month cleaning the latrines. Quartermaster Eggbrocht. That's the guy I have to talk to about the lady's missing son. But slaves, are you enslaving all the countries that you conquer? I mean, I didn't think you were, but okay. A note from your medic. My dear brave soldiers, in recent weeks, I have examined a record number of you claiming to be unfit for further service. A large percentage of those I examined were assigned to patrols in areas stricken by plague. I prescribed them in an innovative cure of my own devising that consists of astringent enemas self-administered twice daily. Most of the ill miraculously recovered after only one day of this treatment, raising suspicions that the pains they suffered from might have been psychosomatic. 
or they just didn't want to have twice daily enemas? That, of course, is highly improbable, given that our codex calls for malingerers to be punished very harshly. harshly. In just in case, however, I would like to suggest that you brave lads only come to me with truly serious health problems. Crendelou, Emlyn, Chief Medic, Army Group Center. Center. Looking for Ginger Muffin. By mistake, a letter was delivered to me that was meant for someone else. I have lost the envelope. The missive starts with the words, my sweetest tender Ginger Muffin, and is signed by your ever-loving little Goosey. Ginger Muffin, please report to Sergeant Gwen Frewey. Frewey? So bad at words. <laughs> Decree from Vatir de Rideau to Army Group Center Command. Inform all soldiers Tamarian guerrillas are not to be attacked. Any planned raids or ambushes are forbidden. They may be engaged in battle, yet only in self-defense. Redania is our greatest foe. Any and all violations of this order will be punishable as per paragraph 3, clause 10 of the Codex of War. Vatier, it was Vatier, right? Vatier de Rideau. So don't attack Tamarian guerrillas. Hmm. Return my helmet. After our last drill, someone mistakenly took my helmet instead of his own. Thus, I am left with a bassinet that not only reeks like well-soiled hose, but also won't fit on my head for the life of me. My helmet had the letters H-I engraved on the cap. Whoever took it returned to me at once. Private first class. He led it it all. I'm... words are hard. Undiscovered locations. Let's see. Scroll up, scroll up. Okay, a couple that are oh, several probably, but I feel like this area is gonna is currently kicking my butt, so we'll we'll worry about all that later. But they're enslaving people. I'm, the fly head brigade. You're I mean, I'm not down for slavery, obviously. Most, most sane human beings aren't, but why? What they they don't want to attack gorillas, but they enslave people. But it doesn't seem like they're enslaving all people, so I'm just very confused on the thought process behind this. But as usual, let's worry about that later and go talk to oh the quartermaster about everything. It looks like great. Who are you? Why do you sniff around here, looking for work? Wait, wait. Two swords, eyes like slits. You are a witcher, is that so? Geralt of Rivia. I have not heard the name. But you will find work here. This I know. Hmm. Oh, let's play cards. Uh, <laughs> not, not right now. Have you been here long? You look tired, Quartermaster. Been stationed here long? Too long. But the day will come when the Emperor's banner will fly first over Novigrad, then over Tretigor. And we will all go home. Okay. Did you lose a unit recently? Let's do that one. You happened to lose a unit recently? One is missing, yes. Did you find my notice? No. Found their bodies. Female wyvern killed them. They wandered into her hunting ground. A wyvern? Bleu de pist. Discovered something else. You didn't send those boys out to scout. That was a death squad. Led some Redanian prisoners out there. Executed them. War is like this. Who loses dies doesn't have to be I yeah sooner or later someone's gonna ask about those prisoners those men haven't been forgotten someone will come asking about them in Nilfgaard any soldier who is taken prisoner is as if dead those prisoners were from Redania soon to be an imperial province before Seovin I wager the great sun will fly upon banners above Redania's capital Hmm, I'd forgotten that it was a death squad, like he said. I'd forgotten about that yesterday, or I glossed it all over because I didn't want to worry about it. But I, I don't want your money. I really don't. I, I don't. I don't want your coin. Oh, dead men buried in the woods. You are offended? They died honorably. If soldiers who let themselves be captured can have honor. <laughs> Here in Velen, hunger is our greatest foe. What was I to feed those prisoners, eh? Grass and mud? It was an act of mercy. You're a murderer, plain and simple. I am an Imperial Quartermaster. 
and we are done with you. Uh, we're not actually. I have another. I have other things to talk to you about. But let me look for this quest to see what it says. All right, the update says the Nilfgaardian quartermaster brushed off Geralt's accusations of war crimes with a shrug of his shoulders, though the Witcher had most certainly earned his pay and needed the coin. He refused to accept the quartermaster's gold. Even a hired monster slayer has his principle. Yeah, I'm just not big on war crimes. I, I love that the game makes me feel so conflicted, <laughs> but I'm aware my responses to things may be all over the place, so. Anyway, we'll just cut first place here. We're just going with it. Anyway, so the next quest that I want to work on is Blood Ties. This is the one we picked up yesterday about a nobleman's son went missing. He stopped writing her letters. Yeah, she was told that he was a scout. Even He was out scouting, even though he wasn't a scout. So our next step is just to talk to the quartermaster. So let's quick save and see if we can get him to talk to us again. Greetings, quartermaster. Honor and glory, Geralt. How can I help? I just called you a criminal, and you're just like, hey, what's up? <laughs> I would expect there would be something else here, but anyway. Uh, I met a woman who's looking for her son. Ran into a woman, Nelf Guardian, who's looking for her son. I knew this one was stubborn. I did not know she would hire a witcher. Let's say a mother's tears moved me. What if all Nilfgaard's mothers came to find their sons? Can you imagine? Only met one and promised to help her. I'm to reveal our troop movements to some Nordling. Hmm, you know what? I don't want to pay this guy, so we'll Jedi mind trick him. Now focus and tell me everything you know. <laughs> yes, I will. Red-haired whelp, Nazari Cavalry. A short time ago, he and several of his company sought to desert. I ordered them pursued. We caught some in the swamp not far from here. Others managed to flee. The men you caught, what happened to them? We hanged them. Obviously. Wartime rules. But I cannot say the red-haired boy was among them. Hmm. You're an elf guardian officer. Expected you to be more conscientious. If I had reported that any had fled, I would have had to pursue them. I've neither the time nor the resources. So I wrote that all are dead. Unlikely any survived long in the swamp. See if I can't find them. Yeah. Um. Can I buy things from him? Greetings, Quartermaster. Honor and. Let's see what he has. Nothing. So long. Literally, he has like four things. Oh, Tavar Eckerbracht. Let's look at his character entry. Hmm. I mean, he asks, what did you do with deserters, Nilf Guardian Army? Obviously, they hung them. <laughs> like, they're not the forgiving sort. So the Nilf Guardian Tavar Egbrocht came from a family with a long military tradition. His ancestors had proudly served under, under the Golden Sun banner during the conquest of Macht, Gesso, and Metina, fighting and dying for their emperor. The last... The, that... That last fate was met by Tavar's cousin, Colonel Tybor Egbrocht, who fell in the Battle of Brenna during the previous Northern War. Despite the fact that Tavar felt no hatred for Nordlings, considering his cousin's death a grievous and inevitable consequence of war, he performed his duties as quartermaster diligently with the good of his soldiers his top priority. I get it, but, you know... I saw you at the scene. Did you? Maybe? Possibly, I get around. Okay, so it's right up the road. I suppose we could try to look at these question marks as well, since we're gonna be all the way out here. Can't hurt, right? Ugh. I love how this game makes me feel conflicted about, you know, Nilfgaard, Redania, and their leaders and everything, but it gives me anxiety as well. <laughs> So, let's see. I'm Apparently, I think I'm just going to run all the way there. But let's see. Can I... Now, let's do the quest first, and then we'll do the question marks, maybe. Just kind of see how things are out here. Now we're getting closer. Deserters tried to flee on horseback. We're caught here, looks like. We have our... Okay, I got Quince inactive. Fled into the swamp. 
Not gonna end well, I don't think. Fled into the swamp. Okay. Come on, Geralt, get up. Dog tracks. It's as if they were pursued. By no guardians? Soldiers, probably? Tried to run, but got stuck in the bog. Great target for an arbalist. Yeah. Black hair. Not who I'm looking for. Mm. Are these uh, dog prints still? Dog tracks. It's as if they were pursued. Bodies, please. Thank you. Okay, we left off here, I think. Fled into the swamp. Yeah. Oh, there's one more beastie over there. Let's take care of that one. Now let's start looking again. Red hair. Probably him. Need to find something else to know for sure. Hmm. Don't think Mama Dearest is gonna like this. Letter to his mother. Least I can do is get it to her. But that's it. Dear Mother, this might be the my last letter. My head it hangs low as I write, for I have brought great shame on our family. I have failed my brother at arms. In the hour of truth, my courage failed me. I ask no forgiveness for I deserve none. I ask only that you pray for me. May you live in health, H. Oh, that's really... Hmm. Not sure how I feel about all this stuff. I mean, I don't want him to be dead for his mother, but he deserted and they killed him for it, but I don't, I don't know how to feel about this right now. <laughs> I really just don't. Uh, but let's go look at the hidden treasure and see if we can beat it, or if it's another super high level monster. Oh, it's a fiend. Okay. They are, what kind of monster again? All right, fiends are relics, so got some relics oil on. Oh, dang. <laughs> that hurt. I feel like there's another sign I'm supposed to be using, but I'm just gonna use Quinn right now because it makes me feel a little bit safer. There we go. I feel like they said from the side with fiends, but I don't know, it's been a while. Bandit's key and bandit's notes. What's that, dear Papa? You're kicking us off the family plot. Your younger sons are good for nothings who deserve a mess of porridge at most. You're gonna give Yoffler everything and we're going to make our own sorry way in the world? Well, we went, Papa, we went. And now we've our own plot. Sure, might be a hill barely sticking out of a bog, a few trees and some rushes. No crops we'll take here, but we don't mind. There was no room for us in the field. So now, well, yes, we'll just never touch a rake nor hoe ever again. What's that you ask, Papa? How do we plan to live? I'll tell you. We've never met with much good from our fellow men, so we've decided to repay the favor. Either they'll give us what we want 
or they'll end like you, Papa. You and your dear Yoffler with a knife between your ribs. Wow, you're a nice son with his wife. Ugh, people. Just. Just, uh, oh, woven silver sword, mastercrafted. That's great. There's a thing up here, though. No, oh, no, it's here. Oh. Hmm. Might want to look around. Wind. Sounds howling. Yes, winds are howling. I don't think I have any of the other woven ones. Is that... Maybe I'm getting them all confused. Well, I'm going to run over to this other undiscovered location and meet you as I get closer. I am going to come to the road, though. But yeah, I will meet you there unless something exciting should happen, since it is quite a bit, wait, quite a bit of a wait. And never mind. Something exciting is happening. <laughs> oh, you're fucked. Am I? Oh, oh my goodness, Geralt. <laughs> I know, I always get so, like, shocked every time, but it's a little violent, right? I mean, it is Geralt. I should be... I don't want to say I should be used to this by now, but I feel like I should be used to this by now. Anything of interest in here? No, just a locked door. Okay. All right, well, as I was very poorly rambling along, I am going to head to the other undiscovered location and I will bring you back in should anything exciting happen or just meet you there. Well, we're relatively close to the undiscovered location, which is this little village over here, and there is a monster already. It looks like one of those monsters I fought in the... What is it? The Witcher contract where I was in the haunted house? Like the mud monster or something? Guarded treasure. Okay, let's save. Okay, earth elemental. What did he... What was he allergic to again? Alright, I've got my oil on. Let's get the bomb out. Oops. I uh, also need to get on Quinn, I think. Strong attacks, strong what attacks. Now, you piece of oh, crap. <laughs> Doesn't really seem to do much damage. Need to dodge this better. <laughs> I should have put that back on instead of kept trying to. Uh... Hits me, that didn't go well. Got him! Yay! Nope, this way. <laughs> Thank you. Alright, anything else of interest since we're here? I did get another fast travel point on the way here, which was nice. Kimballed way, so that's that's useful. Yeah? I feel like I looted over no, I didn't loot over here. What am I thinking? Come on, Geralt. Can we can we loot properly? Thank you. No, I did loot in here. I just looted only part of it. <laughs> All right. So the what was it? Guarded treasure. Maybe. What is this place? A 
swallow a horse. I feel like it means it means something. <laughs> and I just don't know what it means. All right, well, I think those two are off of the list. I am going to run back down here and talk to the soldier's mother. And I think I'll probably just meet you there unless, again, something exciting should happen, though I doubt it will. Nothing, nothing has yet. But anyway, I will meet you there and we'll turn in this quest and then go elsewhere, obviously. <laughs> All right, we are back in the Nilfgaardian camp, so let's find the Nilfgaardian woman and turn in this quest. My son, were you able to learn anything? Yeah. I was. I wish to know the truth. Be it sweet, be it painful. I wish to know. Your son is dead. How did it happen? Uh... Well, she said she wanted to know the truth, so I guess we should be honest. He deserted and was caught. He deserted, was caught, then hanged. Lies! Found him hanging next to others. Notice posted on the tree was clear. I do not believe you. My son was no coward. Believe what you will. Found a letter on him, addressed to you. Mother, this may well be the last time I write. In all my letters I have lied. Forgive me. I am no hero. I take no pleasure in killing Nordlings. This place is a nightmare. I have borne it until now. I can bear it no longer. Not long past, they ordered us to murder prisoners. Do you know what this means? To kill defenseless men. I must flee this place. Oh, my darling child. Forever. You have found him for me. Your payment. Take it. I really don't want payment. Yeah, it's me, Geralt the Rib. That letter was not the letter that I read. And that letter was much better at explaining his thought process. Like, I would desert too if uh, the army I was serving was killing prisoners. And the leadership did nothing about it. But anyway, let's find the quest in my completed log. All right, so near the Nilfgaardian camp, Geralt ran into a noble woman from far off Nazair. I feel like I read the first paragraph yesterday. So the update was, it turned out that the nobleman's son had decided to desert along with some other disgruntled soldiers. A search party had immediately been sent after them. Some were killed and caught and killed, while others managed to escape. Sadly, the woman's son was among those hanged. When she learned this, she was overcome with grief. The letter Geralt had found on her son's body informed her how monstrous war can be and how hard it is to judge the actions of soldiers taking part in it. Ugh. <sighs> Valen, your quests just break my heart all the time. Okay, well, let me see what we're going to do next. Well, there are a couple of cat school gear upgrades. I don't know if level 23 is the level of the gear, but I feel confident enough to be able to go and pick up these five diagrams at least. And then maybe after that, we'll try and do Lord of the Wood, maybe Oxenfurt Drunk, we'll see. I, I just want to try to clean up as much of side quests as I can before we head back on to the main quest. There's also a couple of side quests I might be able to work on too. I'm not sure if I'm skilled enough to do this high class Gwent tournament yet, but maybe. Plus we've also got the deadly plot where we have to meet with Dijkstra to talk about possibly assassinating Radovid. But um, maybe we'll do that one tomorrow, I don't know. But let's work on the cat school upgrades. So the first location is actually still out in Velen. And I do have a fast travel point near there. And the other one is back in I was gonna say Oxenford, <laughs> by the Oxenford Gate in Novigrad. So let me fast travel out to this one first and I'll meet you as I get closer. Well, I did take a moment to run over closer to the cave. Apparently that I need to go in to find this boot upgrade for my cat gear. Oh wait, I need to click on the thing over here first, right? Yeah. Ooh, mm -hmm. there. Might wanna look around some. Might wanna look around. <laughs> And let's see what I can find. I've been to this location before for some reason or another, but I've clearly missed it. Um, 
and I'm apparently still missing it. Let me get out my torch. Nope. I am definitely not in the right spot. Herm. Alright, Geralt, come on, use those powerful Witcher senses. I'm a little oblivious sometimes, so I might need your help. Oh, there it is. There, no. Ah, oh, there it is. There it is. Finally. <laughs> Diagram enhanced feline boots. Alright, got that one. So our next one takes us back to the city, which is great because I want to drop off stuff and sell stuff. So, <laughs> yet again, I'm going to fast travel all the way back here to the Oxenford Gate. Where is that gonna be at? It's like in somebody's house, it's so random. But anyway, I'm gonna run out of here, get to Fast Travel Point, fast travel all the way there, and meet you there once I arrive, yet yet again, like I keep saying. <laughs> and we are back in Novigrad. suspicious to me, Trav. Thank, thank you for Where's your Eustace? kind remarks. Got my eye on you, you. Right, one, one. Plenty more to all now, so we work shifts. Crematory's fire roars day and night. Good. See needs cleaning. And steel and fire. If you want it no clean, let me pass. I've got shit and pus leaking from me wagon. Oh, hi. Right away. Yuck. That's gross. Fine mess you made. All right, yeah, so the... I'm guessing the marker's up I there somewhere. Some still mm. So I need to mm. figure out a way to get up there? Is it just up here? Oh, it's just up here. Ah, here it is. Hmm. Might want to look around some. Hmm. Let me try the ladder, maybe. There we go. Maybe it's up somewhere. Power of the eternal fire. Oh, sparklies. Nope, not sparklies. Nope, sorry. Sorry, madam. Is it right here? No. Um, I'm probably totally in the wrong spot. Oh, but there's another upstairs. Let's try there. Come on, Gerald. If we get this done, we might get some new gear. Feline Silver Sword enhanced. Great, so that quest is complete. Let me go to my crafting page and see what it says. Enhanced feline boots. Okay, so I do need to be level 23 and items must be upgraded to Grandmaster level to unlock bonuses. Hmm, all right, well, darn, I was hoping I could put them on, but let me see, I had an upgrade to the, the gear that I don't particularly like, so let's see, what was that one? Well, I could wear the enhanced griffin gear, it looks like. I'm missing components, so I don't really want to waste components on a set of gear that would just tide me over until level 23. So I think I'm just gonna hold off on upgrading any of my gear until I can wear the cat gear. And that's only a couple more levels. So I think we'll hold off on finding any more of the diagrams until I get to be close to level 23 because then I'll be able to wear them. So how about instead we start the quest of sword and dumplings. So I, I got this quest ages and ages ago and I've actually run into this guy in Novigrad but I didn't talk to him. But the quest text said, to a witcher, a sword is like a lover. He must caress it, care for it, devote some time to it each night. But as with lovers, there are times when one comes across a specimen so superior and not one's own that one cannot help but consider replacing the old with the new. Garrett was fully aware of these principles, so when he heard about the legendary swordsmith named Hestori, a tingle ran down his spine, butterflies took flight in his stomach, and he resolved to find the craftsman. I feel like somebody mentioned him like in passing and I got a quest because of it. So why don't we go and talk to him since he's in Novigrad and then probably start his quest Where's today it was him always all the corpses. and right. and then go from there. Well, let's run out to a fast travel point. 
and see where he see where he's at. All right, so let's go to Glory Gate maybe, and then run over to his place. Because I'm wondering if I'm it's something to where the more higher level gear you can unlock. It's him you should burn me! Yeah! He killed your comrades at the Vagal Pot Ball! Uh, what's going on? Looking for a bruising? Hey, Who is this guy? Suspicious to me. Mar <clears throat> oh no! It's the. Oh my gosh. It's the mage that we met at the ball, like he said. Oh my gosh. Oh my... I can't do anything, can I? Can I save him? Put my eye on you, white one. Ah! Ah! Yeah. White one. No, why are you all cheering? This is horrible. Moritz something or other. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, why did you not leave a tryst when you had the chance, you foolish man? And I can't save him. Oh jeez. It's all sunshine and flowers in this game today. But I think I was saying something along the lines of, I wonder if it's the more higher level your gear becomes, is it like you need a master craftsman to make it for you or something like that? And that's why we have to talk to Hattori? But anyway. Oh, that's right, he made a dumpling shop. So excited. What do you have on offer? Redanian dumplings, speciality of the house, heartily recommended. Blimey. A vat gun in my establishment? It can't be. Hi. How do you know I'm a witcher? Are you joking? Silver blades, who else uses them? Crafted in Mahakam, am I right? Must be about 40 inches long. An elven sword expert. You must be Ibir Hattori. Ah, indeed. I am. Geralt of Rivia. Heard a lot of good things about you. A pleasure, Geralt. How might I help you? Care to try a dumpling? Uh, sure. I'll take a dumpling. Mmm. Tasty. <laughs> mm, glad to hear it. Anything else I can do for you? Well, I'm looking for a good swordsmith. Looking for a good swordsmith? No one? <laughs> Three swords on your back. A bit much, don't you think? Good one. But all jests aside, you make swords anymore? Really? It's dumplings now. I must make a living. But I miss the hammer, anvil, and bellows. Oh, the heat of the forge. Were it not for that swiving Van Horn. Don't know what you're talking about. Uh, I shan't greet a witcher with dumplings. Come, let me show you something. Quite a collection. Yeah. Premium quality, too. Thank you. I've kept these as mementos. Damn shame you don't make them anymore. I'd gladly replace what I have with this kind of steel. Someone with your skills? Why the hell are you needing dough? Mm -hmm. This might surprise you. The pay is better. But above all, it's much safer. Food vendors rarely disappear or end up as cripples. I see. Someone controlling Novigrad smithing market? Not officially, though... All supplies go through Ernst Van Horn. And they say he plays cards with Cleaver, frequently. Oh, Ernst Van Cleaver is the, he was the dwarf of the four kingpins of Novigrad. Uh, the one who wanted to go around and kill a uh, horseman with me, but I decided to do it on my own. And Ernst Van Horn, the name sounds familiar, but I can't place it. Ernst Van Horn, who's that? Modest beginnings, a small dockside workshop, However, he proved extremely ambitious. 
He knew he could not compete with other sword makers on skill alone, so he resorted to other methods. Ah. Other methods? A bit of slander here. Buying business debt cheaply and taking over there. And whenever the competition was a plowing non-human, he'd accuse them of being Havocars. Is that how he did you in? I did not give up without a fight. I went to Town Hall, negotiated. Alas, it was all in vain. He'd already enlisted Cleaver's protection. And in Novigrad, few dare get in Cleaver's way. Hmm. Couldn't make a deal? Tried negotiating? Making a deal? With Van Horn? Do you jest? He's a proper heartless bastard. Either play by his rules and pay him, or go out of business. Hmm, I see. But I shan't complain. Dumplings have proven an excellent source of income. It's just... well... <laughs> you miss the heat of the forge. Tried getting supplies from someone else? Those rogues of the underworld control all the sources. How am I to talk to them? Unless... Would you be willing to help me? Of course. Uh, want me to help you get supplies? Want me to help you get your supplies? How? Just come with me to a meeting. As my bodyguard, it'll bolster my confidence. Truth be told, not so long ago, I tried negotiating some iron deliveries with one of the King of Beggars' men. Right. King wouldn't worry about an embargo Cleaver imposed. It's just... He demanded an inordinately large share of the profits. I thought you might help me negotiate. I don't mean gratis. I'm certain we can agree on a fee. Could I... Choose something from your collection? Oh, forget this rubbish. I shall forge you a sword fit for killing gods. I don't know. Criminal underworld. Not really sure I want to meddle with them. I badly need your help. Van Horn is a Van Horsen. <laughs> he must be taught a lesson. I'd be eternally grateful. Plate armor, yours. Or perhaps you'd like a catapult or a, a trebuchet. No. <laughs> no. Uh, I'll arrange a meeting. Fine. Arrange the meeting. Splendid. Meet me after dark. Near the crane at the docks. Cool, I like this quest already. <laughs> well, I think this is where we're going to stop for today. I feel like I've gone on long enough, and I feel like I have bounced around to multiple different objectives and quests and places enough for one day. So tomorrow we will continue working on Of Swords and Dumplings and help Hattori hopefully get back what he needs to make me shiny swords and, and go from there. But as always, thank you so very much for watching. Please do keep yourselves safe, and I will see you again tomorrow with another new Witcher 3 video.